I'm Andre of Zebra BI and today I'll guide you through the latest feature updates of Zebra BI uh, visuals for Power BI version 3.3. As you may know, uh, we do have weekly updates of our Zebra BI visuals for Power BI. So sometimes we just have, uh, you know, small bug fixes, but uh, at other times we do have major new features like new charts, uh, new functionality, um, new layouts, new design options, and so on. So we've got a lot going on lately. So let me guide you through the latest uh, updates of Zebra BI for Power BI. Um, the uh, major new features I would say are, um, first of all, optimized matrix charts, uh, the further optimized matrix charts, I should say. So um, right now, even the matrix charts um, are calculated so that they uh, consume the optimal amount of space. Uh, like in my example here, if you've got a, um, you know, very important business unit with uh, a lot of sales, uh, this column here will um, consume more space, like uh, similar to what we had in small multiples. This is now also available in uh, the um, Zebra BI power tables visual. So uh, this, uh, I think, will make your, um, especially the more advanced uh, visualizations, uh, much, much uh, better. Then the uh, new charts, new chart types. So we've got uh, lollipop charts, uh, further, further lollipop charts for the actuals, for especially for displaying uh, percentages, for example. So I'll show you a couple of ideas how you can use them. And um, my personal favorite this time, um, additional custom calculated columns that you can add to Zebra BI power tables. So you can actually add up to 10 custom calculated columns on top of, you know, normal actual versus previous year versus plan and, and forecast and so on, which is extremely important in business um, uh, reporting because now you can add things like common size measures, to your PL uh, statements, uh, you can add your own custom calculated variances uh, like uh, you know uh, currency um, adjustments and things like that, or portfolio shares, or you know gross margins to your sales uh, versus uh, plan reports and things like that. Very very useful. And not only that, you can now individually design each column. This is really exciting because now you can simply click on the column header on this, this little arrow icon and you will always get a couple of design options. First of all, you can directly rename uh, the column like I have here. So this would be perhaps 2019. So you can simply rename it, but then you can also set um, things like font, font type to bold, or you know, you can uh, choose the uh, exact font color. So you can just simply change it to any color you want. So basically you can individualize the design of each particular column. What else? Uh, you see the uh, background feel and, and so on. Uh, so which is really nicely and now, you'll be able to express yourself uh, <laughs> even, even better, right? Uh, you can actually uh, tweak the design a little bit, make sure that it, uh, you know, better fits your uh, corporate design uh, and so on, which, you know, becomes increasingly important if you're just adding more and more columns into your tables. Uh, this will help you um, design your tables, uh, the column layouts uh, in, even, in an even better, better way. So I have a ton of examples uh, to illustrate this. Um, the favorite one for our consultants and business report, and, uh, report uh, business analysts and, and financial analysts, um, finally we have a really, really nice and simple way to design and create waterfall charts with subtotals. Subtotals in waterfall charts, very simple from one simple, one single measure uh, by simply, you know, assigning each element in your um, category, data categories, uh, by marking it as a subtotal. Very easy to construct uh, waterfall 
charts in a completely new way. So I'll show you that one. All right, let's, um, let's dive in and let me show you a couple of uh, things, uh, how you can use uh, a couple of uh, features here. Uh, first of all, the uh, new additional uh, custom calculated column. So right now, up until now, we had something like this. I'll just remove the columns. So this would be the, you know, the default, um, let's say the default um, Zebra BI power table. Um, you've had uh, some actual values here and then you compare this to previous year or to plan or both and, and, and your forecasts and so on. So uh, with version 3.3, you can actually calculate like a, something like a portfolio share, for example, a custom measure, and then you add it to your values field. All right, so now the values field will allow you to add up to 10 additional measures, which will simply appear as additional columns here in your um, Zebra BI power table. Again, you can now um, take this column, uh, you can customize it, you can rename the name of the measure, how does it appear. Uh, in, in the column, um, you know, you can set the uh, text options, the colors, the backgrounds, uh, even for the uh, custom calculated columns, you can um, change and set the marker style. So the uh, style of this little column marker. Uh, so for example, let me just uh, bring in a, an additional forecast, for example. All right, forecast. So you see, again, this is the column. You can move it around, okay, move it around. So forecast, this will be a simple value. And because this is a type of a um, forecast, I will use the uh, marker style, this, so the hatched pattern in market style, just to indicate that this is a kind of a forecast. And now these column, custom calculated columns, the new columns, uh, you can simply reorder them, right? So you can just place it anywhere within the Zebra BI um, table, so you can reshuffle things around. It's extremely, extremely flexible, and hopefully this will, um, you know, give you a lot of new options, uh, you know, um, for table-based uh, reports. Okay, um, the next thing is um, rename. So, okay, we've renamed the, um, you can rename it here. So for example, forecast, uh, February, whatever this is, just simply rename it here. Okay, uh, the next thing are the uh, waterfalls with subtotals. Okay, um, many of our users have asked for this uh, feature. So let me show you what we have added. So of course we had waterfall charts before, right? But it always took you, um, it always took two measures. So you had to have like a previous year and then the actual, and then Zero BI would calculate the variances between previous years and, and actual, right? But uh, we've got feedback and we listen to our clients' feedback um, that, you know, sometimes you simply need um, uh, a simple flat um, structure, data structure, where you can yourself mark certain columns as the subtotals. And that's exactly what we uh, have supported now here. So for example, in my case here, I have this chart here. I have a simple um, field of my accounts and I have just one single measure with the value, all right? So for example, this is how this would look like in a normal, uh, normal chart, right? So you have some, uh, in my case, I have the uh, EBIT for the last year. Then I have some changes, right? So these are the changes that actually you calculate yourself. And then, the, um, then there's the uh, next result, which is EBIT from 2019, okay? But now uh, the, um, now the caveat, right? Now I have an additional element, the uh, FX change. So like the adjustment because of the uh, currency adjustments. And this will result in, you know, in adjusted, currency adjusted um, uh, EBIT at the end. Okay, so this is, my, this is my example here. And now you will see with the uh, charts, 
Zebra BI charts uh, with one single measure. There's a new chart type, so these are the old ones. And now, once you slide it, you will arrive at this waterfall chart. Now, this waterfall chart, how do you control, how do you assign the type of an element? You simply click here at the bottom and you mark certain columns as a result. When you will start this, you, your waterfall chart will look like a normal, like, uh, you know, just a simple waterfall chart where just things just uh, simply add one to one to another. But if this is uh, a subtotal, you simply right click, mark it as a result. And here at the end, mark it as a result. And then the last one, mark it as a result. Very simple, and you've got yourself a nice waterfall chart. Um, also, if you have uh, um, elements that should be subtracted from the, um, from the previous value, like in my case here, I have some material costs, personnel costs, and so on. So I can simply mark those, um, those data points as, um, as a negative value, uh, and I can simply invert it here, okay? So this would be the normal one, but because you know these, the, the cost should actually be subtracted, um, and you simply click here, invert it, and now that's it. Okay, so now you have complete control, and you can simply build waterfall charts with unlimited number of um, subtotals. All right, so hopefully you will like this. Let me just give you one quick idea. Um, one quick idea, so like the price, volume, mix, uh, variance analysis, now this is really sweet. Uh, if you do calculate things like this, so like the uh, price, vol volume, mix analysis, um, now is the perfect time to actually visualize it in a really nice way. So you see this is now the new waterfall chart. I just have one single measure here, it's the value. These are my categories. So my categories here are 2018 price, volume, mix changes and 2019. And what I basically did is I just marked the last uh, year as a result and the first year as a result. That's it. And I've got, uh, I've got my waterfall charts here, uh, especially as you see here, this also works in small multiples because I also have this, I actually have this calculated by country. So you see the country is inside. So you simply add another dimension and the, uh, it will create, uh, so the country here, put it in the groups and now you've got yourself uh, small multiples, small multiples with the new waterfall chart. So this is, I think, a quite a quite a nice application for the uh, new waterfall charts. Um, what else? Um, then we have some um, nice, um, nice little uh, design features that will just allow you to really um, to make the responsive behavior, the experience for the end user um, better. Um, and you can now control it in a better way. So specifically, there are two new features for this. So our default um, responsive behavior. So if you make this chart a little bit smaller, at certain point, the chart will change to the column, right? And then I go again, and you see, this is this is our default behavior, but now we had uh, we had a few users right where they said, oh, we would actually like you know those charts uh, still to have those charts, but just a little bit smaller before they convert to to column, to a text column, right? So what we did here is simply allow you to change uh, this behavior by making the uh, chart the, the minimum chart width smaller. Okay, so if I change this, oh, sorry, to 100, it's not 100, okay. If I just, you know, make it smaller, now the charts will still stay, so you will have, uh, you will have smaller charts before they will convert into, uh, into values, uh, right? So this is how you now actually control, set your own responsive behavior for your users. And a similar function here, if you put this visual to the focus mode, right? Now, finally, <laughs> the, uh, 
Uh, we have been able to do this uh, when you put it to the focus mode, uh, the text, uh, the font size gets bigger. So basically we zoom the font size in the focus mode automatically. All right. So now when you put uh, the chart into focus mode, it's much, much uh, uh, more legible. So people can actually read it and uh, it's, it's much, much more, it's much better, right? This is something that just wasn't, uh, uh, possible before, but now it's uh, now it's possible. So we just uh, went ahead and did it. Uh, by default, every uh, Zebra BI visual will zoom to 150%, but you can actually change this so you can actually design this interaction for every visual. So you can you can just say so by default this number will be 150, the zoom. So if I make it, if I zoom in. You know, now it's, uh, now it's 150%. You can change it while in focus mode by simply zooming in with your, you know, with your mouse, with your trackpad on your laptop. You can actually increase to 200% and still set the default zoom level here once the user will put the visual in focus mode. Now I'm directly uh, zoomed uh, to 200% for this particular table, right? Um, this should enhance your storytelling story when you're presenting in front of the board, board and so on. Okay, we've mentioned the uh, matrix charts. So yeah, just try this out. And um, the uh, maybe the last quite important one are the uh, cross tables. Um, we have enhanced all of the layouts of the cross tables, all of them. So now you really have, I think, all the all the possible layouts, uh, table layouts are are simply achievable. Um, so, for example, in my case here, I have a table where I have my um, calculation of my income statement, so product revenue, revenue, and so on in my rows, right? But more importantly, now you can uh, construct a hierarchy in your columns, which is something that we had before in earlier versions. But this time, uh, you see, this time you really have the full, full option here. So you have the previous year value, you have the actual, and then you have the uh, variance to previous year, variance to previous year in percent for the baby care uh, business unit, and then the second business unit. So this is the higher level now. So I have a hierarchy in my columns, I have business units in my columns, and this is all now for, you know, the monthly, for the current period, for example. And then on the right side, I have the same, again, all the variances for all the business units, and then on top of that, also the option for year to date, right? So you simply, you can build this by simply adding multiple data fields uh, to the uh, group placeholder, right? So without the, uh, Without the grouping for business units, you can simply have monthly versus year to date, right? Segmented table, very simple. With all the variances, you can add also variance to plan, everything you can, you know, change the, change the things. You can, uh, you see, um, change the column formats and, and so on. And you can make it even more, um, even more complex. Uh, more detailed by adding, you know, your business units, products, and, and so on. So this will now, this is now all possible with the uh, latest version of Zebra BI 0.3.3. Um, similarly, you can take the existing uh, chart layouts and build hierarchies in your columns. So in this example, I have my PNL. This time it's much more visual, right? So I have the actuals and then I have the, the growth from previous year, but for two business units. So the baby care business unit, hair care biz business unit. So you can have multiple um, segments in your uh, tables like that. All right, this is a quick run through. I encourage everybody to download the latest version. So if you're a subscriber, go to your member profile, log in, download the latest version and enjoy the benefits. Uh, let us know what you think, write back to us, give us your feedback. And I'm looking forward to the next update of Zebra BI Visuals for Power BI.